Hello everyone, Nosh Thomas here. It's early Monday morning, the market's opening soon, and the big news is Trevor Milton has resigned. Was he resigned? Was he pushed out? Who knows? Anyway, I'll discuss my thoughts on this a bit. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. I do want to make this a quick video. There is a lot going on. The market is down again. That is making me nervous. We'll have to see if that rallies throughout the day. But again, we'll quickly talk about uh, Trevor Milton. You're not going to get any breaking news out of me in this video. This is just simply Trevor Milton has resigned. Give my thoughts on that a little bit. I had done a video recently that is Nikola going to zero? Is it time to panic? Their stock is at $25 in pre-market, so we can discuss that a bit. I'll quickly discuss the market. Uh, and then, you know, I want to talk a little bit about Tesla, Tesla Battery Day. I am looking to continue to put some trades on in there. We'll take a quick look at my portfolio. And yeah, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, so once again, my name is Tom, a.k.a. Nostra Thomas, a.k.a. Noam Tomsky. We're uh, ready to get this going. I'm a heavily options, do a lot of options trading. I do do some stock trading, some futures trading. Constantly showing my portfolio. It's an open book. You can see everything. I post at Nostra Thomas all the time, posting my trades all the time. Be sure you follow me there. If you're new to the channel, a hearty welcome. If you're not, you know what's up. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, let's hit the like button. Hit that notification bell and let's get right into it. Yeah, so by the time you see my video, it's not really breaking news, but breaking news. Trevor Milton has resigned. It is not really a shock to me. I would kind of lean more towards maybe he was pushed out. Who knows? I have, honestly I have no idea what this is going to do to his compensation. I believe he has a package that he's going to get no matter what. He has shares. I do think this affects some long-term ridiculous package they have. In general, again, I'm not surprised by this. I will not be surprised if the F SEC says there are, you know, there has been fraud going on. I will not be surprised to see the Department of Justice, which is also investigating them, come with charges. That could mean jail time, not just for Trevor Milton, but anyone else involved in the executive board. I have no idea. I'm not saying they're guilty. I'm just saying, you know, it doesn't look good. There is a lot of smoke. In my previous video, you know, I did a video on is it time to panic is or is Nikola going to zero? And, you know, pretty much from the jump, I thought everything coming out of this company was hot air. It was all about raising money. Maybe they had good intentions. Uh, you know, Trevor Milton was uh, a blessing just as much as he was a curse. Without him, they probably wouldn't have been able to raise all the money that they have. But if it was fraudulent, I mean, at, you know, at, it, it's not very good for him, obviously. So it's a very horrible situation because I don't, you know, there's going to be people in this stock that are going to lose lots of money if this does, in fact, go to zero. And as I mentioned, it's already down $9 in pre-market. I'm curious to hear from you all if you're in the stock, if you still have faith in it. There's still quite a few people that I don't really understand that, you know, they're ride or die on this stock. I don't know if they're trapped. I hope you're not. I really hope you haven't lost a lot of money. Uh, again, I'm curious what, to hear what you have to say on this whole situation. You know, Trevor is out. Can this, can this repair? Can this be, can Nikola come back from this? Maybe. Honestly, I don't think so. Again, I think they're going to go to zero. It's my understanding that someone that's on their executive board, and I have no idea if this is right or not, is gonna to continue to take over operations. You know, like I find it hard to believe if Trevor Milton was guilty, he was the only one involved. Their entire executive board, their compensation package, which it's normal to get like the compensation and stock and et cetera, but theirs was just crazy, right? So again, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. So I do want to hop over into Tastyworks, take a quick look at the market, take a quick look at my portfolio, talk about Tesla a little bit. Uh, before I switch gears, I do, again, I just want to say one last time, I, you know, my heart goes out to anyone that does work for Nikola, families, etc. This is your living. I feel really bad. You know, I wish you all the best. If you're in this stock and it's hurting you and you're losing a lot of money, again, I feel bad for you. Me personally, I have avoided this stock just because I didn't believe anything coming out of their camp from basically the get-go. Like 
When I first heard the stock, I'm like, man, this sounds amazing. Those products look amazing. But it was just one wild claim after another. It's, to me, a lot of just red flags went off. I actually tried shorting it. I did mention that in my last video, but it was almost impossible to do. I may have got my face melted off because that thing ran up like crazy, who knows? But now, you know, it's, it is where it is. Uh, it'll be an interesting to watch this week. Again, uh, I wish all the best to anyone that's in this stock. There were a few comments like I put my life savings into this. One of them, I hope that was just a joke because, oof, that's tough. Uh, anyway, uh, let's hop over to Tastyworks and let's check out what's going on in the market. And I wanna quickly talk about Tesla, what I'm doing in there and what tomorrow I'll possibly may be adding on for battery day. All right, we're up quick, here we go. We're in Tastyworks. Again, this is the preferred platform, link down below. There's also M1 Finance down below. You get $20 if you sign up there. M1 Finance is an amazing platform. What I recommend if you're a beginning investor, I just did a video recently on that. I'm gonna look to do more. Definitely check that out. So dollar cost av averaging strategy. The earlier you can get going, the better. Anyway, before I continue to ramble, take a look at Nikola. It is at $24.90 now in pre-market down 10 bucks, almost nine, nine, 10 bucks from last week. I was actually kind of blown away that the stock continued to run up even after the SEC says they're investigating, even after the DOJ says they're investigating, it continued to run up. It really blew my mind. So I'm curious to hear if like you stayed in the stock last week after all those allegations, like what prompted you to do that? And if you're still a believer now, it's just like, whew, man, you've got some, uh, You've got some commitment, like you're firmly, you're a believer, and which I applaud that. All I can say is what I say all the time, watch your size, uh, do not go all in on a speculative stock like this. Again, some people are saying that they are, and to me that's just like, I just don't get it. So watch your size, <laughs> right? Just watch your size, and yeah, I wish you all the best on that. So uh, switching gears, let's take a quick look at my portfolio. I did do a video last week with all my options plays. Most of them, all of them are up except for uh, Apple and AMD. So they're all doing really good. And I do kind of want to start doing options Mondays where I put on a bunch of options plays. Problem is we'll have to see how that pans out. They were up, but the market's down again and it's really starting to concern me. I had actually wanted to put on some more negative deltas. You can see I'm pretty positive right now. I'm 529 long deltas, which means my portfolio is pretty heavy long right now. A lot of that is I do have 200 shares of Tesla. I do have 100 shares of Workhorse in this account, even though some people on my last video don't think I own it. I am looking to take at least half of that off the table. It has been a two-bagger. Right, definitely check that video out on Workhorse and why I'm selling. But I would be, and I'm looking to put on more, more like I said, more short deltas, call spreads, but it's hard to start putting on more short deltas when the market's been down so many days. So I'm probably expecting a bit of a bounce. I'm, I might not do much. Uh, Tesla's doing really well. It's up $10 in pre-market. I'm pretty stoked about that. I do have a lot of plays on on here, a lot of put spreads, which are uh, bullish. I'm hoping those come in today. It's gonna be hard for me to put more on in this just because I do have so much on. I have 200 shares in this. This is 100. Right now this account sitting at about 116,000 net lick. So 200 times, you know, that's like 90 grand just in Tesla, that's insane. I talk about watching my size and I'm like, I've oversized myself big time. I'm way too much into this. I have been selling calls, collecting premium. Uh, I will be looking to possibly take some of this off today, maybe put some more on tomorrow. I am looking to get out of 100 shares. I'd recently added 100 shares in the last downturn. I picked that up at around 420, 419. And that it immediately went south on me. I should have waited, but you can't, it's impossible to time the market. Now that's up, so I'm up like three grand on that. Maybe I'll take that off. Again, I am very bullish, very bullish. The most bullish stock I own is Tesla. Yeah, snooze. 
So that is, that again, the most bullish stock I am, Tesla. Long term, I think this is a two, three, four trillion plus, five, seven, 10 years out, as long as the market, right? It, it's very dependent on the market. So if the market crashes, it has kind of been doing recently. And if it really goes down like another 30, 40%, which is possible, there's a lot of economic factors you, you know, there's gotta be concerned about so for me, I kind of want to get more into cash right now. I mentioned this, I think, in the workhorse video. So I'm looking to get out of 100 shares, even though I'm very long-term bullish. I just want to have some cash ready. Say, for example, the housing market does crash. I, you know, I'm going to go out there and diversify and go out and get some real estate. It's that old adage. I'll say it again. When everyone's selling, you want to be buying. Well, everyone's selling. So, I mean, that theory holds right now in the stock market. Everyone's selling. But how much longer are they going to continue to sell? So timing that, timing that is, you know, when everyone's selling, you need to be buying. Timing that, it's a lot harder than it sounds. So is now the time to start buying? I don't know. I mean, Apple, look at Apple. It's at 104. The market is open now. It just opened a minute ago. Uh, the NASDAQ was down, I think, below 200 at one point. Uh, we'll have to see if it rallies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Again, Nikola, I feel bad. Anyone caught in that? How's it doing right now, actually? Let's take a So it's holding around 24. We'll have to see. We'll have to watch and monitor that. I feel, again, I feel sorry for anyone caught in that, whether it's an employee, uh, anyone caught long, and especially got in when it was at way higher prices. I feel for you. Again, hopefully you weren't in too, too, uh, too leveraged, too. Your size isn't too big. Hopefully you can live to fight another day. I don't think Nikola is going to survive this. Uh, I do think GM is probably going to pull out. This actually might be another nail in the coffin for GM, an already dying ice company. So we'll see. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Again, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll probably start doing something later tonight for Tesla Battery Day. It's just going to be me trading around Tesla Battery Day. I may be look them up. So up two grand just on Tesla alone today. You know, that's all the shares. Who cares? So anyway. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I love you all and peace.